Hello everyone, as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to return an item on, on Amazon. A note to this, see where it says in stock sold by, Ma by Maple Magic and fulfilled by Amazon. It has to be fulfilled by Amazon or if you to get um, free shipping back and a full refund. It's not sold by that. You might still get a, you're not guaranteed of a full refund and free shipping. So on that note, I'm just going to, also you guys beware. This is, a, this is a fake product. If, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. So, first of all, I'm gonna go to your account, your orders. Down there is the case. I'm gonna click return and replace items. So I've already returned the item. I've already requested a return. So what it's going to say is why are you going to return the item and either print your own mailing label or do self serve which they will refund your shipping. So I just chose to ship it back by Canada Post because it's just easiest for me and then they will then they take care of all the shipping and from there you're going to press print mailing label. And for this, um, guys, um, you can, I just kept my, I keep my old, like, my package, like, I envelope, so my stuff comes in, and I just put this thing label o over it to, um, because it's easiest, and then I don't have to get new, a new envelope or any new packaging. So I'm going to print this, I'm going to go downstairs to my printer and print this, I'll be right back. Back guys, and I have all my papers in order here. Like I said, the next part of this is attaching the mailing label. I'm gonna put the camera over here. Grab some scissors and some. And as I told you guys, I kept my old, my old envelope. This is a padded envelope, so it's not get damaged by anything. So here's here's the mailing label. So I cut along the dotted line. These scissors are not that great. I just bought the hard to mm -hmm. cut right there. And this will also, this will also come with instructions if you're unaware of how to do it. It'll come in two pages, so just to take the excess off. So print the label. Cut out our March National Return label, which is this one right here. This is a cut. This is a generated um, postage for it. So you're gonna write your return address right there. Just from for for security reasons, I'm not gonna share my address on camera. But don't worry, don't worry about the postal code. Just put from in your address. Well, it's it's been the return address. They'll pick it up, but just in case it happens. So I'm gonna fix it. To the to it, make sure that this is covering any type of 
um, other postage that may have came. So if you're reusing it, make sure it's, it's covering up everything. In order to do this, I just grab some electrical tape. Yes. Because there's two wire cuts, I just take some electrical tape, take off a few pieces like this, and then just plaster them over to here. This way, there's no confusion over which one's which. And the kind of both guys can effectively yeah, take my like, case in without any real problems. Is that code? I'm not 100% sure what that is. The code is, it may confuse them. No. So I've now effectively taken and, and put it over the code. You guys can just run over it, peel it off, whatever, I need anything to cover or to take it off. It doesn't really matter which way, I'm just going to put it. So see there's my other code right there. I'm just going to place this code on. I got some new tape here, so let me... I got this tape here. I want to use this tape because it's gonna make it, it's gonna make it easier for me to put it on instead of scotch tape. Because if if, if if there's a million the label comes out, it's gonna be nearly impossible for them to figure out who it is or to that for them to get it back to you. That can be a potentially disastrous situation. I'm going to take my tape here. I'm going to place it on there. If you are using duct tape or any type of tape that isn't clear, make sure not to cover up this barcode because that's the barcode they scan in order to see where it goes. So if that's covered up, it may have problems. Make sure it's make sure it's securely fastened on there. Make sure there's no, yeah, make sure then there's nothing that would make it come off. I'm going to put it over, over the, the black part here. That black part doesn't come off. So now that is prepared. This spark over here, I don't think it really matters. It's not going to be anything that's going to confuse anyone. Garbage over there. Okay. So this is the instructions. So he, he, I have done everything. I've fixed the barcode. But nope. No extra postage as in, is it necessary. And don't forget, guys, about the address. So it's gonna make it difficult. So this is so this is a return authorization label. Tells it what it is, where it's from, everything, everything that they, they need to know to return it. So I can just I can just cut this. In. This always goes inside. If this isn't inside, I'm probably not gonna know who it's from. They're gonna probably gonna send it back or attempt to see who it's from. Take your case, make sure everything's in order. Let's make sure the case is closed. I'm gonna place it inside, inside with the return authorization. From this point on, I'm going to get this flap here. I'm just going to use some same tape I used for the thing to close the the envelope. Just get the front of this tape here. I'm gonna do one part at a time here. So take this part, put half on. I like wrapping presents. That's like that. You don't want to get it fairly secure in case it. Because sometimes during mailing, stuff gets misplaced or stuff gets broken or stuff gets empty. You want to make sure it's as secure as you possibly can. See here, it's, there's no lip to, to, to rip off. 
Um, and, and, and if you guys have any questions, you can contact Amazon. Uh, there's no sign. It says no signature required. If it says, it would be two options, and you and you can also request um, an exchange. You can send your old one back and get a new one if it's broken or whatever. And if it says return it to Canada Post, return it to Canada Post because UPS or any other type of delivery service that you're saying this to is probably going to return it back to you and say, okay, take it to the right place. So make sure that that's in order. And generally, um, they're going to send the return. So sometimes for Canada Post, they even get the return as soon as they take it to Canada Post. When it's scanned, they'll scan it to, Canada, to, um, to, to Amazon and they will scan it and give you the refund then. Or uh, sometimes it takes up to three weeks, so don't. So if you don't, if you don't see it's been returned yet, don't worry about it. It's gonna be returned. Um, that's has been a fun video. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'm hoping to have some extra videos up soon. We're gonna get back into YouTubing at this point. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.